In Kibbutz Kutzayavne, they seem to have found the perfect project to address the world's most recurrent problems, the economical and ecological crisis. The project consists of 32 parabolic plates that capture the only natural resource which Israel has plenty of. That's right, the sun. The sun has been somewhat of an enemy to the kibbutzim of the south of Israel, having to endure the terrible heat and causing droughts constantly. Now, this multi-million dollar project by Senet, the solar company based in Rehoboth, Israel, has set the first pilot project in Kutsai Yavne that enhances the sun power to create cheaper and cleaner sources of energy. The site was officially opened by President Shimon Peres two days before Israel's 61st birthday. And how is it that these gigantic metal sunflowers work? Meet Hanoch Tnini, he's a project manager and was kind enough to answer all our questions. Uh, okay, what, what, what you're seeing here is uh, it's, um, uh, a photovoltaic site that's um, unique, the first one, it's a pilot of a company called Zenit Solar. It actually can, um, can generate, can absorb about 70% of the energy that comes from the sun and um, they have, their system is, is cogeneration, combines both electricity and thermal energy and that's one of the biggest advantage, advantages in the system. People who live in the kibbutz usually don't deal with high tech and are used to the life out there in the field. This does not mean energy consumption is low. A kibbutz like this can consume the same energy as a small city. I'm very excited about the project because I firmly believe in uh, the Green Revolution. Noel Shishelberg is one of the members of the Board of Decision of the Kibbutz. He knows that for the kibbutz to survive, they must adapt to the 21st century. As you probably know, this is the only one of its kind in the entire world. So I really like the idea that somebody like me who lives on kibbutz, where many people have a stereotype of kibbutz nikim, you know, dumb farmers, that we are at the forefront of the Green Revolution, that part I like too. This project is a small expensive step for Israel and can be one huge leap for mankind.